Most of my filmmaking and, and photographs are taken on a single breath of air, so I'm actually free diving rather than scuba diving. And that changes the way your images come out because you have such a limited amount of time at those depths. Once you find yourself in that shot underwater, you can be almost entranced by it. You, you're focused so much on what you're creating that you forget that you know, I only have this much longer to make it back to the surface. I only have this much air in my lungs, but you have to create that shot. You see it, it's happening in front of you. And to go back up and to lose that moment, it's almost like a failure. My name is Perrin James. I'm an underwater cinematographer. I don't think there's anything better than coming home to the big island of Hawaii. It's quiet, it's nice, you know, there's no hustle bustle, there's no city. It's just enough to come back and recharge before going off on the next mission. The first thing I do when I get home is I dump the hard drives. I go through the photos first and edit usually a couple thousand photos and then break into the video editing and then packing up for the next trip. You know, once, once I get all the cameras clean and I have all the hard drives backed up ready to go, I start packing my bag for, for that next project. The most constant struggle of all is keeping my gear working. You want your gear to last because, you know, if you're somewhere far out in the middle of nowhere and you break something and, you're, and your gear fails, you're done. Like, you're not shooting. You have constant weathering of salt, wind, and sun just beating every piece of gear apart and having quality gear that holds up in these locations is a huge piece of that.